welcome to another episode of Paramedic Pearls. In this episode, we're going to talk about the electronic patient care record. Now, as you all know, I visit a lot of fire stations, and as you might guess, the EPCR is a common topic of conversation that's brought up. So there are three points I'd like to bring up whenever we talk about it at a fire station. The first is that we at EMS understand the struggles with the EPCR. We knew that this would be a difficult transition, but it has been far more difficult than we had anticipated. What I want all of you guys to know is that we are on top of this. We're working very hard with the vendor to get them to improve the product, and we will stay on this until the product reaches a point that we're all satisfied with it. The second point I'd like to bring up is that the EPCR should never compromise patient care. If you have a very sick patient and you can't focus um, on your electronic patient care record and the patient at the same time, put the tablet down and take care of the patient. This is not different than it was in the days of clipboard and paper, when if you needed to, you'd put the clipboard down. All the EPCR tablet is, is a new clipboard. So if you have a sick patient, put the tablet down, take care of the patient, pick it back up at a later point when you have a free moment. Now the last point I'd like to bring up has to do with the narrative. And there are two big things we wanna talk about with the narrative. The first is, if you don't know where to document something on a call, just put it in the narrative. From a medical legal standpoint, as long as it's documented somewhere, it counts. But in the long term, from a quality improvement perspective, we want things documented where they're supposed to be because it makes it much easier to do a, a query of our charts to, to determine how well we're doing uh, if we can do it automatically versus trying to query 322,000 narratives and read them individually. So at the end of the call, call your subject matter expert and find out where it was supposed to be documented so future calls, it gets put in the right place. Now the other thing about the narrative is people ask me, what do I expect them to put there? In the hospital world, we talk about something called medical decision making or MDM. What MDM is, is a one to two sentence summation of why you did what you did. Now the EPCR covers almost everything else. There are five W's, right? There's who, what, where, when, and why. The who, what, when, and where are all covered by the check boxes in the EPCR, but the why is not. So having one or two sentences, or really as much as you like, because the narrative is limitless, having at least one or two sentences that explains your thought process and why you did what you did can be very, very valuable, particularly if a complaint is made or if a case ends up going to malpractice. You will never remember a year or two later why you did what you did on that call other than what you document. So it is incumbent upon you to take an extra minute or two at the end of a call and just type in a short summation that describes the why. So that's it for this episode of Paramedic Pearls. Thank you for joining us and we will see you next time.